Hi, it's Graham from Concept Music here again, and today I'm going to address something pretty important and that I hope will be really, really helpful for you if you're a parent looking for a second-hand instrument. Um, we get asked a lot if we sell second-hand, and sometimes we do have trade-ins where people have upgraded their instrument. Mostly we sell new instruments, and in new instruments our preferred brand is Yamaha, and that's simply because they are so well made, they're so reliable, the company is fantastic to deal with, they have an awesome spare parts facility, and all their brass and wind instruments have a five-year warranty, so um, it's very easy to be biased about selling Yamaha, they're, they're just lovely. But what about if you can't afford a second-hand one, or you've seen a, sec a new one, or you've seen a second-hand one, um, is it any good? What should I pay for it? Is it, is it okay? Uh, so what do you look out for? What do you have to be careful of if you're buying a second-hand instrument? So I'll run through some general rules for all brass and wind instruments, and then we might delve a little bit more closely into each instrument. So the first thing I would tell somebody um, is I would demystify it by saying just as if you went to look at a second-hand car and you could see if it's been bashed around and not looked after properly, most of the things you're going to have to look out for are going to be obvious just from looking at the instrument. Likewise, as much as I'm very happy to give free advice and you're welcome to email or call and ask me for an opinion, it's not possible to value or assess an instrument from a photo. So much like you couldn't take a photo of a car and send it to someone and say, what is this, what do you think of this car? Unless I can lift the, lift the hood, look at the engine, check the tires and look at the interior, I can't tell you from a photograph. So you really do need to inspect an instrument. Having said that, if you see an instrument advertised secondhand that you know is only a few years old, that is a current model, you're probably gonna be really, really safe after you've, expected, after you've inspected it. So in general, what should you look for? In general, I would start with a case, the external of the instrument. If it looks super old and bashed around, that's probably not a great start. So the case, if it looks new and shiny and looked after, the case is going to tell you something about the age and condition of the instrument. Next, you would open the case and look at the instrument. And again, perhaps just like looking at a second-hand car, if it's bashed full of dents and it's rusty and it's not shiny and it's obviously extremely well used, that would be a warning. Or it might just be that it's an old, well-used instrument that's still in very good playing condition. So you still have to delve a little bit further. But in general, you would shy away from anything that has got obvious dents or scratches or things won't work. So when we delve into it, you would, if you've got your child with you or if it's you that's playing, you would obviously try and play it to see if it works. If it doesn't play, it doesn't work, you're gonna to have to factor in. Well, maybe I'm gonna to have to get this, this instrument repaired or serviced, which is fine. Uh, we would any instrument we sell secondhand, we get serviced as a matter of course. But you need to factor in that that's about $100 for nearly every instrument for a basic service to strip it down, clean it properly, check all the valves, the corks, the pads, the springs as required. So you may need to factor that in if you try it and it's not quite working properly. But other than that, if you're looking at an instrument, it looks in good condition, it's nice and shiny, everything appears to work, and it's obviously not too old, you're probably okay. What should you pay for it? The rule of thumb we use here for an instrument that's less than, a, less than three or four years old, we would say half to two thirds of the new price. So on a brand new trumpet or flute worth $700, that would mean $350 to $400 is a fair price for something in fair condition. If it's a bit older and a bit scratched, maybe a bit less. If it's brand new, it's never been used, maybe a little bit more. Things you do have to be careful of, are things like an instrument that might have been sitting around for many, many, many years unplayed. So often people will tell you, oh look, we used it for six months, stuck it in the cupboard for the last five years and haven't touched it since. It's not always a great thing. With the wind instruments, insects like silverfish get in and they can affect the pads. But even on brass instruments, if the slides and the valves aren't moved and lubricated, they can seize up and they can be quite expensive to have repaired. But, uh, but they're all things that are not to be scared of, they're just to be aware of. The other thing would, might be to ask somebody before you even get there. So rather than waste a trip to the middle of nowhere to look at an instrument, ask some questions first. Ask them how old it is and be careful of people saying, oh, it's only two years old, oh, we only used it for two years. Go further, dig a bit deeper and say, did you buy it new? Because I've had loads of times where I've spoken to people and say, oh, it's a two-year-old instrument. And when I've looked at it, I can see that it's a model that hasn't been available for 10 years. And I say, oh no, we bought it two years ago, but it was second hand when we bought it. So ask as many questions as you can. 
Uh, most people will be telling you they're selling because they used to play it in school, hasn't got used and it's time to move it on to somebody else. So most people are very genuine, but the fact that they're genuine doesn't mean that they'll know about the condition of the instrument, whether it needs repairs or servicing. Okay, I hope that's been a little bit helpful, but of course, I know that it's a bit scary and it's a lot of money. So if you're not sure, you're welcome to call me, you're welcome to email me. Bear in mind, it's very hard to tell from a photograph. So if you send me a link on Gumtree saying, is this any good? Unless it's an instrument that's only 12 months old, it's gonna be hard for me to tell. Much like it'll be hard for me to tell if you send me a photo of a, of a car parked in a car park and say, is this car any good? I need to know how many miles has it done. I need to look under the hood and check the engine. I need to check the tires. I need to check for rust. And instrument's the same. So don't think by looking at a photograph somebody's taken, you can tell if an instrument's any good or not. You need to inspect it much more closely than that. If it's possible, you're welcome to bring it in and I'll look at it for you. You can call me, you can email me, but I won't be able to tell from just a photograph. Um, I hope that's been a bit of help. Our goal here is not to try and sell you a new instrument necessarily. Of course, we sell a lot of new instruments. Our goal here is to make sure you have a satisfying and happy and enjoyable musical journey that's not gonna cause you frustration. And buying a good secondhand instrument is, is a great idea if you can find one. And, uh, and if not, we'll help you go through the choices in the new instruments.